welcome back to my channel. My name is Adriana. I'm a busy mama of four that focuses on our family finances. We're a single income family of six living in California. My goal is to provide a fun and an intentional lifestyle for our family using the cash envelopes and zero based budgeting method. Today's video, we are going to talk about June results in July. Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm so glad you could join me today. Today we're gonna do the June um, Paycheck P5 closeout. Uh, I wasn't able to track like how I would want to, so we're just gonna go ahead and go through an overview basically of that week. And then I will fill this out. And then what I'm also gonna do today is I am going to ditch the Erin Condren for July, and then I kind of made my own budget planner for July because I just kind of want to see what's going on like what system fits me best I've done this now the Erin Condren uh, for six months and it's cool but I think I'm just getting bored and so I want to try something different so I'm gonna go back to some worksheets so let's just wrap up um, p5 and we'll do a June overview and then we'll do our first paycheck of July setup and it'll be a wrap so let's go ahead and get started with what we spent in um, Paychex 5. So green is our household. So let's go ahead. We spent $26.60. And this was at Target. We'll say this is week 5. So that's what we spent. And I'll probably just put this for the ending of June. So we'll put it here actually for week five. And then for gas, we spent $83.34 for gas. And this is week five. So we'll just go ahead and leave it there. Oh, sorry, I was out of focus. We'll add that there. And so these are the totals of what I've spent in week, or yeah, on paycheck five. So these are the totals. So then purple is my unbudgeted. Now, if you saw my budget chat, oh my gosh, you know this was a huge budget buster. But we spent 90 29 on unbudgeted. So for week five. That is major, major progress. So let's go ahead, add that here. And then for groceries, I believe that's what the pink is. Yeah, so our family groceries, we spent a total of 164.89. So we went over a little bit in that. And you'll see what we were over under when I fill it out. So, and then I think our last one is our shenanigans line. So I, not that I didn't like this style, it requires you to be super active in your budget, which is completely fine, you absolutely should. But as far as like keeping up with the stickers and stuff like that, that was kind of hard because every time you would um, buy something, you would have to write it on a sticker and on a tracker. So I think I'm just doing too many systems is what's happening. And we spent 186. I'm just really trying to simplify 18 on shenanigans. And that's week five. Okay, so that was our, these are our totals for the week. And these are all variable expenses as well. So this is good stuff to, to keep track of. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to our weekly check-in and just verify those amounts. Let's just move this out. I don't need that yet. Um, so gas for the week Move that all in frame. Gas for the week, I budgeted 135. We spent 
is what we were under. So that's really good. 135. Let me actually grab, you know, I like my colors, the green and the reds. They just are easier to see, you know, how you were doing on your categories. So here's the red one. Let's see where the green one went. Here we go. The green. So we were in the green for 51. 66. That is great because we were over category and some other stuff. <laughs> Story of my life, guys. Okay. So then we budgeted 150 for groceries. And this included a camping trip. And we went over by $14.89. So see, this is a good thing. Now I'll be able to see, or I mean like the color, so I can automatically see. Household, we budgeted $30. We spent $26.60. So we were under by $3.40. 26 $26.60. Shenanigans, budgeted $127.64. We spent $186.18. $127.64 minus $186.18. Over by $58.54. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, unbudgeted, we don't budget anything, but we were over by $90.29. So see, it's always unbudgeted and shenanigans that we're over by. I'm telling you, in July, we are so gonna fix that. That is one of my whole intentions, is to really fix that line. Okay, so, so actually, I was gonna start with this, but we're gonna do a closeout of week of paycheck five. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that before we get started. So for paycheck five, we spent exactly $945 on housing just so I don't get you guys all confused. So we spent exactly 945. Um, one of our bills, credit card, 176. This was for these two lines. Uh, 160 is what we sent for our car payment. The account cushion, we still put it in there. So yearly account, we did 66. Contributed $20 to our clothing. And the total there was thirteen sixty seven. And then one of my intentions for July is to build wealth. So we were able to deposit $1,000. And we deposited this from savings. It's been a long time coming. I should have done it sooner, quite honestly. So if any advice, start investing sooner than later. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we went camping. We spent $123.64. I ended up putting some on our credit card, so it doesn't look like we were over, but we are. So um then my husband got his allowance his allowance for the week, which was $30, which was a total of $153.64. And then so gas for the week, we spent $83.34. Groceries, $164.89. Household was $26.60. Shenanigans was $186.18. So you can kind of see how this is repetitive from what I do in the planner and what I'm doing here. So I'm really just trying to eliminate all of that. Sinking funds, we did 20 Costco for our sinking fund, I did 120. So this was 
our total income for this paycheck was $3,618.64. $1,367 went to fixed expenses. $691 went to variable. $1,000 to retirement. $153.64 and other, which was camping and allowance. So our subtotal was $3,021. Or three thousand two hundred eleven and ninety four cents. So for July's first paycheck, we are going to roll over four hundred and six dollars and seventy cents. So that's going to be our rollover amount. So yeah, <laughs> we are just going to do better in July. That's all I can say. So um, where you see there's like these little dashes right here. If I were to fill those in into our budget, we would actually be over budget $66.30 if we're being completely transparent. $66.33 or 30 cents. So that's what I have to put from our budget, from our paycheck in July. That's going to come off right the top to replenish what we borrowed in the account cushion, if that makes sense. Hope it does. So yeah so let's go over the june results let's see so gas for the now these are our monthly totals what we just did was my was our weekly totals because my husband is paid weekly um so here's how we did for the month we spent a total of Three fifty nine forty four on gas. Um, my kids are out of school, so this is going to go down, but groceries are going to go up, and the inverse will happen in August when we go back to school. Groceries should come down a little bit, and then gas will go back up. Or it might maintain the same, the way inflation is right now. So uh, groceries, and this is including our Costco haul that we did. We spent $1,404.15. Household, we spent one ninety six sixty. I'm not quite sure what we spent that on, but we did. So I'm gonna have to look at the receipts. Shenanigans, we spent three ninety seven fifty two. See, unbudgeted five sixty five fifty six. So hopefully, with raising the shenanigans line, like I have talked about in my no spend July, this will bring this amount down because what I do is I allocate a certain amount for shenanigans, but once we go over that amount, it goes into unbudgeted. So this tells me we were just we were not being realistic. So hopefully, um, we can fix those two in July. And then allowances, I didn't get anything. My husband got thirty dollars for the week or thirty dollars for the month because I think we're, that was the one. Okay, and then cash envelopes was sixty five dollars. Sinking funds was one ninety one fifty seven. Our internet for the month was $95.60. Cell phones were $64.14. Our utility bill was $165.03. Um, and then our Costco sinking fund, now this is for July. I took out $120. And then family adventures, this was for, we went and visited a friend who was camping. So it was $239.37. Um, my husband fixed his truck for $359.53. This is just for the parts. We paid off some credit cards. And I had um, a class mom uh, expense as well. So the total for those, not including the credit card, because that came from our savings, was Okay, and then our fixed expenses totaled $4,299.61. So let's add those two together. $4,291.08 plus $4,299.61. Total expenses for the month was $8,500. And 
total for the month. June month. Okay. Yeah, all I can say is we're working on it. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and set up our July paycheck. Actually, you know what? Let's do a quick little walkthrough of the kind of paycheck um, planner that I set up for myself because I am putting the Erin Condren down and I'm going to try these worksheets. So I thought it'd be good for the month to kind of do this is I'll call this like my financial monthly calendar so this is anything that's going to cost us money um we have planned expenses we have our paydays on there um and stuff like that so anything that's going to cost us money is going to go on here and we have four paychecks in July so um our vision for the month, our financial goals, and our financial priorities, right? So this is above all else, or they align with our financial goals. So let's do, the vision is to build wealth. We are going to try to do 15 no spend days. And then retirement for the month, how much I want to contribute will be $350. So this aligns with what we have on our no spend calendar as well. Um, so obviously a priority would be retirement. Um, and the no spend days. And our main goal is to contribute that $350. And then that's about it. Retirement account, $350. So that's one of our main goals. And hopefully that all aligns. So this is our financial calendar that we fill out. Here's the no spend month calendar tracker that it will be linked in the description box if you guys wanna join the no by July. We filled that out. And then this is a monthly, I'm gonna call it overview. Even though we are paid monthly, I mean, I'm sorry, even though we are paid weekly, I like to list our expenses monthly and kind of see it like a bird's eye of where the money is going and just all the amounts together, I guess you could say. Because when you get it broken up into weekly amounts, you're like, oh, it's, you know, an extra $5 won't hurt. But in reality, when you put it on the grand scheme of things, it could. So um, I like to put together a monthly budget based on our lowest expected paycheck that we would get paid. And so we're going to actually fill this out. Um and what else was I gonna share? So even though I have a monthly budget, I still budget by paycheck. So sometimes that looks different. So sometimes I'm able to budget more for a certain category. Sometimes I'm able to budget less. But again, this all falls into our values of money and stuff like that and our goals for our building wealth and stuff like that. So. We'll go over that. Okay, so this is our paycheck planner. It's still a work in progress, so I'm working on some things, but this covers our first paycheck of July, um, the 5th through the 11th. And this, I, when I'm doing this with you guys on camera, I do it on our lowest expected paycheck for that um, pay period. So, but they all look the same. They all will have these accounts on there and stuff like that. So we'll fill that out. And then with each paycheck planner comes an expense tracker. I put the dates up there that it covers. And this is where I'll get my information. And so I have four of these. So there was one. 
There's two. And there's four. And then I'm going to do a monthly summary, but of course that works out in our monthly budget because we have what we budgeted and then what we spent. But this I want to fill out July. I want to do one of these um, starting at the beginning of each quarter. So this is going to be Q3. Just to kind of see, are we moving in the right direction of building wealth? So that will be there. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started on our monthly setup. Okay, so for the month of July, we are going to have housing cost. And this housing cost includes everything. It includes our rent. It includes our water, trash, and sewer. Um, because we're renting, we also have a rental fee or a, a pet rent fee. So it includes that. We have a smart home um, fee that pays for the security cameras around the house. Um, we have an air filter subscription that we have to pay for out of this. This includes our propane. So this this is not just rent. This is in with our utilities. And then there are some housing fees for the said utilities that are set up. So this includes rent, like I mentioned, and utilities. So this is all in one. Okay, so $3,677.88. Y'all, it is expensive to live in California. That's all I will say. <clears throat> and so then also for our fixed expenses, we have gymnastics. And that's 106. We have our car payment. And yes, this is a debt, but I included in my fixed expenses because it has to get paid, right? Um, and that is going to be 640 for the month. And that is not our actual car payment. I am still putting extra towards... Um, the car payment to kind of build like that cushion of an extra payment just in case. So um, we also have an RV storage for our trailer and that's 161 a month. Let's see, we have life insurance and that is 38.10 a month. We have Netflix which is $19.99 a month. Disney Plus. Um, $14.99. I have a Weight Watchers app that I have. It's $10 a month. Crunch Labs, I have talked about this. This is for my son. He does the um, Mark Rover's subscription box. Love it. So $29.44 for that. And I think that is it. So let's go ahead and tally up this, which is 367, 88 plus 106 plus 640 plus 161 plus 38, 10 plus 1999. Plus fourteen ninety nine plus ten plus twenty nine forty four equals four thousand six hundred and ninety seven dollars and forty cents. So that is our total for fixed expenses four thousand six hundred. And ninety-seven dollars and forty cents. Mm. Okay, moving over to our variable, and this is everything you see me track for the week and stuff like that. So we have gas, and this is our monthly. And I used June as um, I already did a draft, so I used June as my main reference for this. So gas, groceries 
household and also the Q2 averages that I got from these variables as well. So we got clothing, shenanigans, unbudgeted. Um, husband sh Shannon shenanigans. This is his week gonna be his monthly amount. Cash envelopes. Sinking funds. Internet. Cell phone. And one utility that does not come out of here would be our light. Um, that I have in variable because that does change uh, seasonally. You know, it's up or down in the winter time, summertime. So um, let's go ahead and do that. I didn't need that. Okay, cool. On my draft I did, I did something completely different. So we'll move on down here. And then we have Costco. This would be a sinking fund, but it is a sinking fund, but I need to make sure that I put money into it so I don't just chunk it into the sinking fund. Um, and then we have retirement, which is our main goal for July. I keep repeating myself because we are going to do this. And then extra to our credit card because we went over in our camping budget, so we have to go ahead and pay extra to that, whatever it is. Um, so with the gas, we're budgeting 400 for the month. You see that? So 400 for the month. Groceries, we're doing 1400. And that's including a Costco run. 150 for household. I'm really gonna have to write this down and see what we're buying because I can't believe we spent $196 last month. Um, clothing, we're going to do $100 for the month, which is $25 a week. Shenanigans is $400, $100 a week. Unbudgeted, of course, is zero. The hubby is getting $100 for the month. Cash envelopes. I don't, when I do my weekly um, paychecks, I do these after everything else has been allocated. So I like to try to say $100 to that. Um, Sinking funds, we're gonna say 264. And this is one of our main sinking funds, which is our yearly account. And that takes care of our yearly expenses, like car registration, car insurance, memberships, that kind of stuff. So I at least have to do 264, and that covers the yearly, um, yearly expenses account. And then internet is $96 for the month. Cell phone is 65. Our other utility is, oh, I think, um, I can't tell you. I ha they haven't sent me the bill yet, so I'm not even going to try and guess. But Costco, we're going to try and set 480 aside. Retirement, 370. And then extra to debt, 350. So let's go ahead and total those up. So 400 plus 1400 plus 150 plus 100 plus 400 plus 100 plus 100 plus 264 plus 96 65 plus 480 plus 370 plus 350 for a total of $4,275 going to variable expenses for the month. So our total expenses for 940 is Nope, it's right. I added my draft wrong. So 275 plus 4697.40. So total expenses for the month of July, $8,972.40. Um, 
40. California's expensive. Okay, last one. Thanks for hanging in there, you guys. Seriously. We are going to do my paycheck for paycheck five. Um, so what I like to do is break down the housing. If you saw the housing was 36, 77, 88. So what I like to do is I like to, so since be June is, or sorry, July is already paid for, I'm going to assume that um, August is going to be around the same amount. So I like to divide it by four. Um, for the next one. So I like to budget we're going to budget 9.20 a week. And then we're going to budget for our credit card. So the base amount that I have to put on our uh, to pay our credit card is 118 to cover our expenses. And then I always put $35 on the line for our account because we have automatic withdrawals from there. Um, and the car payment is 160 for the week. So let's write this. Housing, I have to turn it. Housing, credit card, account. And this, this 35 is not a buffer. It is for automatic um, payments that come out of there. So car payment, the yearly account yearly expenses account, that is 66. And yes, that is the sinking fund. Then I make sure we pay clothing. I always make sure that has money into it because we have four kids and they're just ever growing. So um, we'll do 20 to that. And then the account cushion always has 225 on there okay and then yes we have a debt which is car payment but I included in fixed expenses so future self this includes retirement in order to meet our goal $85 a week we have nothing in the other but for variable we have gas, and I'm gonna try and do 75. Um, our kids have their activities, their summer activity um, sports camps, and it's just right around the corner, but still, it may require more. Gas than usual. Groceries, we have household. And they have shenanigans. unbudgeted and hopefully by us budgeting more than shenanigans we don't use unbudgeted we've got cash envelopes sinking funds Costco sinking fund and then hubby's allowance for the week I think that is 20. 20 it's 25. So, and you know, you might see that sometimes, even though I budget for it, doesn't mean it always will get an amount. Like sometimes, like I said, I budget on our lowest paid check. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it can be less. And I feel like it is gonna be less because he took off some days to go camping or something like that. Um, so Costco, I'm gonna try and do 120. Um, budgeted is zero. Shenanigans, $100 a week. Household, I think it's 30 is what the average came out to be. Um, and groceries, so this is just like 
weekly, this is not including the Costco run, so we're gonna say um, 135 for the week. And then cash envelopes, let's do 50 sinking funds, 50. So yeah, that's set up for our first paycheck of July. Let's go ahead. I'll add these up. I feel like this video has been super long and you guys have definitely hung in there. So thank you. This is my new setup for July is these worksheets. I think I'm going to buy like a small binder and keep it in there. And I'm going to try and stick with this system and see if I like it or if I need to go back to the Erin Condren one. So anyways, you guys... Like I said, if you want to join the No Buy July, the No Spend Month tracker will be in the description. Purchase it and let's get going on just resetting our finances. So anyways, I hope everybody has a great budgeting month for July, crushes their goals, and I will see you guys in my weekly check-ins. Bye-bye.